Katrina from the Adobe team here, and I am so excited to announce that Content Scheduler is now available on Adobe Express, which means you can now take your projects from Adobe Express and schedule them directly to your Twitter, your Instagram, or your Facebook page. Here's how it works. Here we are on the homepage of Adobe Express. On the left panel, there's a new tab called Schedule. If you click on it, it will take you to our content scheduling tool. There are two different views you can toggle between, weekly and monthly. You can also filter posts by status or platform. Before we can get started with scheduling your content, the first thing you need to do is connect your Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter accounts. Just click on the connect button and your browser will have you log into your social account or will auto detect your account if you're already logged in. Once all of your social accounts are connected, you can start scheduling your content. All you have to do is click on the day you'd like to schedule a post, then upload media from your device or from your projects, then write your caption, and if you're posting to Instagram, you can even schedule the first comment. Once you've input all the details, then you can choose a time and date to schedule the post or mark it as a draft to work on it later. Adobe Express also gives you the option to preview your posts so you can make sure the graphic looks right and the caption is correctly formatted. Once you've finished, hit save and it will take you back to the calendar view. You can easily drag and drop content if you want to change the day you want it to publish. You can also create unscheduled posts so that you can schedule them at a later time. Another way you can access the scheduler is in the editor while you're working on a project. In the top right corner, there's a calendar button and you can schedule your posts that way. With the power of Content Scheduler, you'll be able to create and schedule your social media posts quickly and easily all within Adobe Express. But let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more Adobe Express updates just like this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.